call up Beatscape. Select the Beatscape from the content above. Once you modify whatever content you decided on, or if you just want to play it out, you can. Once you're done, we're going to go back and open up the step sequencer. But first, you must label the MIDI out track, output track to Beatscape. And then you can select the steps you wanted to play. Okay, once you select your uh, starting point of where you want it in a step sequencer, I'm not even going to continue with anything else. I'm just going to leave it here. That's the starting point. And you can drag it out. Or, since I'm not using the step sequencer, I'll just create a loop. Simple as that. So then it'll just play. <laughs> And it'll play all the way for the eight bars, and then it will stop. You can set it up to stop and start at any point in time. Or you can have it re-loop again. It's entirely up to you. You just now, want something quick. We're going to convert a soft synth track, which is Beatscape, to a new audio track. So all you do is use the edit button at the top of the screen, go down to bounce the tracks. You'll see your sources. You can either do entire mix, but in this case, we're just doing tracks. So you enable tracks and just keep the Beatscape stereo track highlighted in blue. New track, we'll just go one audio. You can adjust your parameters here or leave everything the same. And then you hit okay. And as that mixes, you shall see a new audio track right up here. And it's exactly the same width and band, length and everything. So I click mute on this one. Let's play. Okay. Sounds the same. Now you can right click it and create it as a groove loop. And if that's the case, you'll see sometimes it stretches all the way out it doubles up the measures so all you do is just double click on it go to your beats and clip cut it in half and then you have your loops right there just like how originally it was and you can see it looped all the way there and then obviously it extends you can either extend it more shorten it up whatever you want it's the same okay now I'm going to teach you how to export it as an mp3 or as a WAV file. Once again, you can mute all your tracks or not. Uh, I kept the Beatscape muted. So we can go File, go to Export, Audio. And this will pop up. You can either select as a WAV or as an mp3. If you select it as an mp3, you must buy the mp3 activation from Sonar. We can select desktop. We'll name it. We'll do an MP3. We can name it uh, Beatscape. Sample rate for MP3 sample rates, it's always 44, 16, regardless. Um, dithering, if you want different types, more power to you. Um, and also, you can set the parameters a little bit more. Okay, and you click export, and another screen will come up. And this is for you to encode it and whatnot. Um, it's entirely up to you. Click OK. And you notice at the bottom, it'll take 20 seconds, a minute, depending on the length of your song. And now you just learn how to convert your soft synth tracks into audio tracks from Beatscape Direct. Please hit me up and I'll be more willing to help you.
Peace out.